Hi everyone, so I've come up with a couple of really awesome colour changing paint sets. We've got Phase and we've got Shift. Now this video is all about how to use Shift. I've made another video on how to use Phase, I'll put a link below for that one. So, first of all with Shift, what is it and exactly what do you get in the box? Well. The first thing you'll notice is you get a small amount of black too, which you probably know is the mattest, flattest black paint that you can get. And you get a small bottle of this stuff, rainbow liquid. Now we've spent a lot of time and effort developing this. This is extremely special. What you have in here is pure liquid crystal held in a very, very special coating dispersion designed to really work with our black too. Now, there's only a small amount. You have to really plan what you're gonna do with this, but a little does go a long way. A couple of things about this rainbow liquid. Please keep it in the fridge. It is living, it's alive, it likes to be kept cool. Um, it likes to be shaken every couple of days to keep it activated um, and it will change through the entire spectrum between 28 degrees and 30 degrees please don't drink it please don't paint your lips with it please don't think it's eye makeup it really isn't okay be careful with it okay so we've done all that stuff load more info on the um, card that comes with it actually it tells you all the health and safety bits what you can and can't do um, I'm going to show you how to use it. Today we're going to coat a ping pong ball and we're going to make it a colour morphing, spectrum shifting ping pong ball. To do that, we're going to rely on black too. And the first thing you're going to do is squeeze a little bit of black too out. Oh, just a little bit. We know a little bit goes an awful long way with black too. And using a soft brush, as I always say, um, coat whatever you want to coat with black too. So a couple of points about black too. It loves to go on metal, plastic, paper, canvas, that kind of thing. But if you're coating any really porous surface, I mean cardboard, wood, plaster, it's a good idea to put down some kind of sealant first. Watered down PVA glue is really good, or you could use uh, any kind of art primer really, gesso maybe. Anyway, today we're doing a ping pong ball, so I've got a tiny bit of black too on my brush. None of this chucking loads of paint on it really doesn't give you a good finish. It's a little bit that goes a very long way. And you'll see it covers the ping pong ball beautifully. So work your way around whatever it is that you want to coat with your black too. It might need a couple of coats. You might get away with one. And leave that to dry for a minute. So here's one I've made earlier, which is a dry ping pong ball coated with our black too. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get your rainbow liquid ready. Give it a good shake, use it straight from the fridge, pour out a small amount. Remember, it's extremely precious stuff, this. So a little bit goes a long way. And what you want to do is you want to use the tip of your brush, the other end, give it a good mix because you want to make sure that that colour changing liquid crystal is well and truly mixed into the coating that we've created for it. Then, using a soft brush, a little bit on the brush and you're just going to paint with it. Nice even coating all over your object, like that, and then you're going to put it to one side and let it dry. Most of the time one coat's actually more than enough and you'll find it goes really, really far. But if you feel that you want it a bit more even, it's no problem going for a second coat, but make sure it's absolutely dry. So leave it a good hour or two before you recoat it. Anyway, in my fridge, I've got one I made earlier. I keep it in the fridge because obviously it starts shifting colour the second it gets over 28 degrees and it is really hot in here. It's basically like a greenhouse. So, in my fridge, I have all my fruit, I have some cupcakes, but I also have this. 
which is our colour changing shift unicorn spectrum head. And over here, I've got a hairdryer. Now we're going to cheat. Obviously, this process is going to happen a lot slower and a lot more beautifully in your own studio and in your own house. But we're going to turn the hairdryer on him and see all the amazing colours that start to emerge as we heat up that station. Wow, look at that. Isn't that amazing? And the richness of the blues, and it almost goes metallic as it does it. Fantastic. Wow, it's like it grows. So, there you go, an absolutely beautiful colour-changing unicorn. Um, I can't wait to see what you're going to make with this stuff. I mean, you can co I guess you could carry like a game controller, anything you touch a lot, a guitar, something like that. Maybe you could make paintings that change in different heat conditions. I don't know, surprise me. I'd love to see what you make. Share your work with the hashtag Culture Hustle. Have fun with it. I've loved developing it for you. As always, I love you loads and loads. I'll see you later. Bye.